Hey guys, it's October, finally, one of my favorite months of the year. I got my Goosebumps shirt on, and I thought it'd be really cool to take a second, sit down, and go over an edit from a photo, one of my favorite photos that I took with Kari. Last time you saw me on this channel, I put out a video of just some of the highlights of this photo shoot. So I thought it'd be fun to actually sit down, go through and edit. You guys can see kind of my process in editing photos. All right, so let's get into it. So this is one of my favorite shots with Kari. I think probably we've done a couple shoots together now, and I think this is my favorite shot I've ever done with Kari. Um, you can see what we used here is a uh, aperture light with a dome around it and something that could soften that light out a lot. And that's exactly what we were trying to go for. We really like these lines, these hard, and then a kind of a soft line in the background. We want this to feel like she was the main character, right? But you're gonna notice some issues right away. Um, when I bring up the exposure, because I shot this under, when I bring up the exposure, we get a lot of uh, things in the in the dark spots. So we're gonna have to fix that, and we're gonna have to go in and adjust some other little things as we go. Now, with this being one of my favorite shots, I'm gonna walk you through a basic edit of it. I've put this photo out a couple different times, honestly, with different edits, um, because I just love coming back to it and trying new things. So today's edit's gonna be a little different from what you've probably seen on my social media so far, but today we're just kind of looking at what I would do in an edit normally. So let's take a look. So I'm gonna reset this and we're gonna get going. So. First thing I do, like I said, is I bring up the exposure just to kind of check out what's going on. With this shot in particular, like I said, I shot this underexposed on purpose. Um, I was using a uh, Lumix S1H and the uh, low light on the Lumix S1Hs are fantastic. And so I really wanted to um, test that capability, but also just kind of like play with it a little bit and get some colors that I probably wouldn't have been able to get. So uh, I can tell right away that this is not a straight shot, and that honestly is gonna really bother me. So I'm gonna go in and see if we can straighten it out. Uh, I hit auto and just let it do its thing, and it looks like it did a pretty good job. Um, generally what you'd wanna see, and what I was going for in this shot, is that chin should be just about in line with uh, some of these markings on her legs, so I'm gonna call that good for now. All right, so first thing I wanna take a look at is I'm gonna go into my masking and I'm going to, um, oh my goodness, all these. The first thing you wanna do is go into your masking and I'm just gonna grab a radial gradient and do something like this. Um, this is gonna be a really easy way to kind of get rid of everything else. I'm going to invert the gradient so we got everything around it. And I'm gonna bring the feather out make this a little bigger and essentially this is just a fast way to kind of get rid of everything around her so boom right there so now it doesn't really matter how high we go with everything else that um, all that stuff that we had is gonna go right away which is gonna make this so much easier so while I'm here I'm also going to do a mask around my subject Lightroom does a pretty good job of this, but um, as you can see, there's some sections here that aren't great. So I'm gonna actually go in and just paint out some of this, um, starting with a big brush and just getting out all this in the center here. That's really gonna start messing with some of the edits we're gonna do later on. All right, so now we have this mask and that will allow us to make some adjustments um, to just our person, just our model. Um, and then I'm also going to duplicate and invert. And what this will do is give me a quick selection of the background. So if I need to bring down the exposure around Kari, I can do that. Or um, something that I like to do sometimes is kind of tint the background one way or another. 
and this will you know allow me to kind of make those adjustments now that we're here um, my white balance is pretty good on the day and you can see Lightroom already does a few little adjustments checking the white balance. I'm just looking for skin tone at this point. I just want to make sure her skin tone is as accurate as possible. So that looks pretty good. I don't feel like this needs to move too much, maybe right there. Um, and then I am going to boost the saturation just a touch just so we can get those colors. All right, now continuing on, I have a couple things I want to take a look at. I want to kind of play with the colors in the background, but also play with kind of what I'm doing in general for this shot. So I want to kind of look at some of these other things that I've saved. I've saved a lot of these presets over the time that I've been doing photos. And some of them work really cool and some of them just don't work at all. There's this one in particular that I actually really do like the coloring, but there's just too much. So I can kind of back that off a little bit. And I actually do really like what this is doing. Now this is a very different from what I've done before, but I am kind of enjoying it. So I'm gonna come in and just kind of play with this for a little bit, um, bringing up that overall exposure. We are still getting some really bad fall off on her face and near the end of her legs here. So what I'm going to do is just take a brush and it's going to be a decent sized brush. And I'm just going to kind of do this. Oops. And then do the same thing on this side. And all I'm doing for this is kind of bringing up the shadows in hopes that we can bring some of her arms back. So that does it a little bit. Let's come back into our main person here and that brings it up a little. I mean, we can go to our overall. A lot of this is just learning to play with these things. And this is a bit better. Um, I am gonna come back into my mask and on her overall mask, I'm going to bring up the exposure and then bring back the highlights. And that'll help balance it out a little bit. Whites we can bring way back just so we're not overexposing anything. Cool. And now if we have a little bit of overexposure here, so I'm gonna bring this, I'm just gonna kind of dial this back a touch. Um, we don't want, see like this starts to bring back her, her skin tone. So maybe what I might do is add a brush and just come in here and brush in and bring those highlights down a little bit more. And that'll help just kind of bring things in control here. I think it might be a little heavy on the top here. Right there, it's a little heavy, so I'm gonna come in, subtract. Boom, that looks so much better. Okay, as far as what we're doing today, I really like this image, I like where we're at, so I'm gonna call it good, and I'm gonna move on to another one. I hope to be doing more videos like this. I do have a, some other things coming up that I'm gonna try to play with, but I would like to do some more of these, so if you like it, let me know. If you don't, that's fine too, I guess. <laughs>